Hello and welcome to my small tutorial on how to diagnose a problem with a blue screen of death on your computer. This is uh, your friendly Irish uh, non-ginger um, Todd 10k here. Now, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you what to do. I'm assuming that your computer is booted up in safe mode when you're doing this. If not, then you need to stop and redo it. Go back and reboot in safe mode. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to control panel. You're going to go to system. And then you're going to go to the advanced tab. And then to startup and recovery. You'll see a small screen here akin to this. I'm assuming you're on Windows XP or XP64 bit. If you're not and you're in Vista, then this process might be a little different. But it should be something along the same lines. I'm not exactly sure what it is in Vista. So you'll have to find your own way I'm afraid if you're using the operating system I don't like it, I'm waiting for Windows 7 personally now what you need to do is you need to write an event to system log you can tick to send an administrator to alert if you wish um, if automatically restart is ticked, untick it then what you want to do is you'll want to select kernel memory dump for write debugging information now your operating system may have the, may have the option to a full memory dump I do not recommend this if you are using a large amount of system RAM. Anything over 512 megabytes will cause an exorbitantly long, long uh, delay in the blue screen process while your computer actually writes this file. It's not needed. You don't need a full memory dump. Only in the most extreme circumstances would you need this. So, what you're going to do is you're going to select a kernel memory dump and then you're going to overwrite any existing file press OK. It'll ask you if it has 200 megabytes, blah blah blah, don't worry about it. As long as, as long as your hard drive is not full, you don't have to worry about this. Just make sure your system... Well actually, I'll give you a general rule of thumb, is to always make sure your system has at least 10, meg 10 gigabytes of free storage on your system partition. And click yes there, and then click OK. What you're going to need to do now is you're going to need to um, restart your computer and then uh, reboot back into safe mode so once you've done that what you need to do is you need to sorry you need to go to uh, this website here this is a the page for downloading um, Windows debugging tools um, this will allow you to analyze the memory.dmp file that is generated when your system blue screens from that kernel memory dump. Um, if you have no memory.dmp file and you've just followed my instructions that I gave there a moment ago, then uh, what you need to do is you need to go reboot your computer into normal user mode and let it blue screen. Just allow it to blue screen. If it's blue screening, yeah, okay, fine. Let it and uh, then what you do is you'll reboot back into safe mode and you will come here now reboot into safe mode with networking otherwise you're not going to be able to get on the internet obviously and you're going to download you're going to sorry you're going to download uh, the, the set of debugging tools which is native to your version of windows xp or vista now if you're using a 32-bit uh, processor on a 32-bit OS, obviously you're going to need this one. If you're using a 64-bit processor on a 32-bit operating system, you'll need this. If you're using a 64-bit processor, you know, you obviously need this. Um, since I'm doing 64 and 64, then I'll need this. Now you'll be given the choice of what you want to actually download. Now, unless you have an Itanium processor, which I severely doubt, because they only give that shit to NASA, I think then you, you would need this but most people are going to need this it's the latest release so you click and download that then what you do is you need to download the symbol packages uh, dependent upon your operating system and processor, processor type now because I'm running Windows XP 64-bit on a 64-bit processor I need where is it um, this would be my bet. Let me see. It depend. It also depends upon uh, service packs and such. There's a reduced download size. If you have a slow connection, you can use that as well. You can download whichever you like. The reduced symbols. Um, you see, the thing is, 
uh, in, even in relation to the full memory dump and reduced symbols the thing is I mean if it's a really extreme problem that's with a file that gen like is old or something like that that could might not be detected by modern symbol file and uh, you know if it's an extreme problem then limiting your options might not help you but for 99% of the time you will just need the standard which would just be the reduced download size and so forth so you download this you download the Windows debugger and you install them both. When you've done that, you need to go to debugging tools for Windows and Windows debugger. Right? Now, before you begin, you need to select your Im image. I excuse me, a symbol image path. And most people have, um, if you've installed it to the default path, this is what it will be here. Um, so you need to select OK and then you go to file open crash dump now you will be able to select the um, memory.dmp which is in your windows folder it may pop up and you'll need to navigate to it so go to that and select open now it'll ask you to save information press yes okay whoop don't ask me where that's there don't worry about it um, now what you're looking at here is the debugger screen. Um, I must have loaded the wrong the wrong symbols for my debugger, but um, if you've followed my instructions correctly, then um, you won't have that problem. Anyways, as you can see, it's correctly identified the problem, which is um, the, in the memory DMP that I loaded. I crashed my system myself with a blue screen using the. Um, uh, IPRT uh, registry entry that you can get off the internet that's wherever you'd like to find that um, pretty much uh, this what, what, it, what it says here probably caused that means that your debugger has determined that uh, that is the problem and what you can do is you can go up to the top of it and press this here this will give you a more detailed this will give you, don't worry about that, this will give you a more detailed um, uh, analysis of the problem. So with this information, now if it says something here like, um, or then if it says either one of these two things, then 99% of the time it's going to be caused by a graphics card. If it says this here, and I'm assuming you have a USB keyboard, or if it says something like this, um, whether something like that, um, if it says something like that, then 99% of the time it's either going to be caused by a keyboard driver or your graphics card driver. Now, if it's giving you uh, any sort of other um, messages there in the image name, what you need to do is just simply go to Google and um, and check and just type it in and see what errors it can give you. 99% of the time this will help you out. This is something uh, that will help you out a lot. Um, especially if you're having blue screen problems. Um, so I wish you all the best of luck and uh, hopefully this will help you sort out the problem.